Yo, what's the deal? What's the deal? We are back again and we are at one of my most favorite places to be in the world besides next to my beautiful, lovely, and sexy camera lady, the gun range. Man, we're about to get busy in here. We're about to make a lot of noise. I hope they allow me back and I'll see y'all in a sec. <laughs> I gotta get it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I know, right? Skipping over the ocean like a stone. Hey, wow. You kind of kind of caught me zoning out. What is the deal? What's the deal? How is everybody doing? It is a new year, new uh, uh, experiences, new awesome people, new guns. I am so excited and I'm so passionate about firearms and presenting to my audience all the great companies that are out there, all the great firearms that are out there, all the great people that are out there. I told you before, when I first started, I wanted to meet everybody, everybody, everybody I watch, everybody that I tune into. I want to meet them all. I don't have any hate. I don't have any animosity. There is enough YouTube for everybody. And with that being said, if you are new to the channel welcome if you are familiar with my humble little channel welcome home kick back relax um i don't have any snacks for you i don't have any snacks got some giveaways coming giveaways or giveaways are always good got some giveaways coming but um yeah man i wanted to come talk to you guys about this one two I wanted to talk to you guys about this. This is my Daniel Defense 300 Blackout PDW. It's mine. I own it. And I wanted to talk to you because um, not only is Daniel Defense an unbelievable company, when it comes to their uh, service, when it comes to their quality of work, when it comes, it's like second to none. It's like second to none. Military, it, it's second to none. Buttery smooth mechanics, everything. I got to get an optic, but even without the optic, it was ringing. It was, it was, it's insane. It's insane. So, man, I wanted to come to you because I wanted to come to you because this. Um, I know I do a lot of handguns. I do a lot of handguns on the channel because I like handguns, but I also like these guys too. So I'm going to be bringing you some of these. I'm going to be talking to you about how they function, all the good stuff like that, man, especially since we got over this. Oh, goodness gracious, man. But that's all in the past. 
let bygones be bygones and we will move forward so i took this to the range the other day and um I was throwing shots down range man and it was just incredible it was just incredible i, I had it I, I took it out before and um it's just it's literally second to none seriously a, a lot of the guns that you know I, I present to you guys man are literally second to none second to none and this is no exception it is a 300 blackout p d d got some little smuts on there ddm4 pdw pdw what do you say personal defense weapon if i'm not mistaken that's what it means the pdw and it's chambered in 300 blackout which in the which is an amazing um caliber i am currently waiting for my suppressor so we can really work this machine 300 blackout was a was a caliber design um specifically for um uh, uh, uh um deeper penetration and whisper quiet suppression when i say whisper quiet suppression i mean whisper quiet like matter of fact check out this video crazy right it's insane it's insane so i wanted to talk to you about the ddm4 and also don't get me wrong i love handguns and handguns are awesome handguns are completely awesome however when it comes to personal defense and defense of your home i think this is the best weapon for it i think this is the best tool or not weapon this is the best tool to use when you're defending your home don't get me wrong hands on handguns are great as you can see i am a subscriber to handguns but when it comes to flat out power and getting things done quick you don't want that you don't want the threat in your home to be wandering through your home and feel like they have the upper hand on you. this not only equalizes whatever the situation is it'll probably overcome it i mean because for the most part you got 30 rounds here you have 30 rounds of 300 blackout 30 rounds of 300 blackout or 30 rounds of any rifle is going to be for the most part it's going to be the handgun every day for one you're more accurate matter of fact of course what, what do you think what do you think i'm an idiot the course is clear are you kidding me of course it's clear i would never ever come on here with live ammo and do a review so not only is this the premier or best option for protecting your home it's a lot more accurate it's a lot more accurate i mean i can lay down shots and people the argument was the argument is going to always be should i use a scatter gun should i use a shotgun in my house for protecting uh my home a scatter gun is good if you have nothing else anything is good besides a home and gardens magazine don't use a home and gardens magazine okay they haven't been proven ballistically and um I, I, me personally I, I just wouldn't do it so any weapon that you can get your hands on as far as a firearm is going to be a better option for protecting your home protecting your family protecting your life their livelihood um the scatter gun is cool but nine times out of ten it's like eight shots it's like eight shots in the, in the scatter gun if i'm not mistaken now don't get me wrong it could be eight shots buck it could be eight shots slug it could be eight shots of something maybe if you got dragon's breath whew, that's a crazy round if you if you haven't looked into dragon's breath even though i wouldn't fire dragon's breath in my home it's a crazy round it's an insane round so shotguns are awesome shotguns are great but again you're limited to eight rounds so i'm saying you really have to and you know i mean place those rounds where you need them to be effective so if you let's say you you know they they may be kind of quick who knows you, you're already down three rounds already down three rounds so you better make those next those next five you better make them count you better make them count so with a firearm kind of ups the ante a little bit because nine times out of ten you can have a firearm that's um pretty much you know from 15 from let's say from 10 from 10 that gives you two more rounds more than eight 
and that's a minimum baseline minimum 10 okay so it gives you two mount two rounds more than eight or you can have a another another uh higher capacity with at 15 even better even better 15 is actually where i would like to start from and you can take it up to the moon literally if your handgun can hold it you can take it up to the moon 17 21 32 drum you can have you can take it up to the moon but however you may not be as accurate with that handgun unless you train with it unless you train with this you won't be accurate too but unless you train with those and you can take you can make those shots efficiently nah. however this on the other hand is something totally different you have quicker fire you can lay down quicker fire in your home you can pinpoint the angles what i do what i've done in my home is and i'm not judging or anybody like that but i did it for myself because i want to be prepared always have a situation me me personally me personally i have i go into situations or i think about the most negative catastrophic outcome and i try to backtrack from there to see where i can refine it to not make it catastrophic and line it up so it gets so you have a more favorable outcome so in my home i've done the angles i've done the angles i spoke to my buddy my buddy is a um he's a police lieutenant he spoke to his guy and we both spoke together who is a swat uh, uh supervisor and we kind of devised and came up with a plan and a system that would work for certain situations i've done i went the additional step and kind of got the angles of my home so if you're standing in a certain position in my home the angle where i can shoot effectively is a safer angle meaning that if i'm shooting it won't go through another room or it won't go through drywall it, it'll hit in a and and in, in, it'll hit in a location which is substantial enough to secure that round you get what i'm saying so the cause of or the, the the probability the probability of um accidental accidental fire or friendly fire or, or not not friendly fire because nobody else is firing but me but accidental fire in the home which is highly 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 there's a high, there's a high probability of it but if you don't if you know the angles of your home then you can figure out lines you can figure out your line on where you need to be exactly to make effective hits god forbid somebody somebody makes it to the upper level of your home i don't think that you should go me personally i don't think that you should go hunting i don't think that you should go hunting in your home however if you stand your ground in your home and that threat comes to you you give them every single thing they ask for that's my personal belief one you shouldn't have been in my home two you shouldn't have been in my home three you shouldn't have been in my home you, you get what i'm saying so i don't i don't i don't necessarily subscribe to hunting in my house for individuals that god forbid breaks into the home but i do and i am a firm subscriber to standing my ground where i am and securing my castle domain i just that's 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 who i am so best believe best believe it's 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 going to be a very bad day for an individual that does that i pray for them i pray for their family in advance now let's get it out of the way because i'm telling you if it comes down to it angles i never was a really i never was a big fan of um geometry i never really liked geometry in school however as i um uh, uh as i uh I came out of school and you know became an adult and everything that i basically everything that i've done or everything that i do professionally or rec recreational it all revolves around angles everything is an angle and i was like man i really should have paid more attention to geometry in school because the trajectory the trajectory of certain of certain paths and certain lanes and certain certain angles will have a have a different outcome and this to me is one of the best um it's one of the best uh um, one of the best i want I, I i don't want to say trajectory definers because it is pretty accurate it is unbelievably accurate 
and you can put shots. Not only can I put shots, if you, I can put shots down so fast. Not saying that I'm, you know, what I'm saying some kind of, you know, um, pew view. Shout out to um to my yo. He's he's insane. He's insane. His his his. his he, I don't know. I don't. He's from another planet. Um, he's from another planet. I mean, I, you know what? Sidebar. The other day, while I was at the range, the other day, I tried your grip angle, and I took the meat, put it up on the top, and it actually worked. God knows the stuff. Back to the video. Um, angles. You really need to know the angles in your home to be effective in defending your home. You can't just go out willy nilly and just think that you can be like boom, boom, boom. You can't because it's going to be an accidental hit somewhere. You don't want that. You want to put down a bad guy, and you want to put them down effectively, fast. That's it. Quick, fast, over. That's it. And this, I feel, is the best tool for it. Tip the tip, but the butt. We got an M-Lock coming across the top. We have a, this is not a suppressor. This is actually a brake. I believe this is one of their brakes. I can't, I can't remember the name of it, but this is a brake. This is your four to not blow your fingers off because that would be a very bad day. I put a uh, Magpul on here. I haven't really done too much to it. I need to do more. There's really nothing to do to a Daniel Defense handgun, seriously, unless you want to change the furniture or something like that, man. There's really nothing that you really need to do to it. It's perfect all the way around. Um, nice, nice charging handle. Very nice, ambidextrous, very nice. Um, Man, I mean, there's like, there's like really nothing to say about this job. If you are, they're costly, they, they, they cost a little bit. They, they cost a little bit. I mean, they cost about as much as a premier firearm. No sense, you know what I'm saying? No, no different, but um, yeah, the mechanics are cool. Check this out, let's see. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let's do this. I don't wanna keep you guys too long. Let's do this and then I'm gonna let you go. It's the only defense. What else is there to talk about? Glock. What else is there to talk about? When you have some of the best, you have the best, period. So, want to see something? Check this out. We're on C. Flip it up. Now you're fine. See that? Super crisp, right? Yeah, that was the reset. You didn't even see it, did you? You didn't even see it. Check it out. I'll do it again for you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Goodbye. It's going again. See what I'm saying? Did you see my finger move? That's it. Goodbye. That is why it is ultra effective. Check the take up. Look the take up. <laughs> Don't see something crazy? Yeah, I can't go anymore. I cannot go anymore. That's it. Okay? Reset. Done. Goodbye. And you can rest and stack on that trigger. You can stack that trigger up and you could, man, man, look, if you are in the market, I would highly look into, if you can, don't get me wrong. It's, it's, um, it costs a little bit, but don't, don't get me wrong. If you want the best, you got to cry once, buy once. Get me? Cry once, buy once. Some things you have to do that with. Some things you can get away with, but cry once, buy once. This right here, this is all I'll ever need in 300 blackouts, seriously. That's it, unless I go longer. Maybe I go longer, but this right here is it. That's all I wanted to do, man. I wanted to come to you guys, give you a little bit of science, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope I didn't wear you out too much. And um, yo, man, we're gonna call it because when you have something that is the best, that you feel is the best of the best of what you can do with whatever platform you're working with, there's really else, nothing to say. There's really nothing to say. So shout out to GPS for letting me go in there and act a fool. Shout out to my unbelievable, unbelievably beautiful camera woman. Shout out to GPS, shout out to Mike. Mike, thank you so very much. The head is awesome. It fits me incredibly well and I look very striking in it. Oh man, that's about it, man. 
you know who I'm representing with this. And um, that's about it. I'm gonna let you go because um, sometimes you just gotta go.